Hey everybody, thank you for checking out the video today. We're going to be talking about gram-positive rods. Specifically, we'll be talking about anthrax on this video. So I've made a list here of the gram-positive rods that are most frequently tested on. We've got Bacillus anthracis, Clostridium, Carini bacterium, and Listeria. And one way that these bacteria are categorized or organized is uh, based on whether they produce a spore or not. And so I wrote spore next to the spore forming bacteria here. That's something that is tested on pretty regularly, so that's something that you definitely have to know. So here we've got spore forming. And to remember which ones, um, which gram positive rods are going to produce spores, we're going to think of spores on your back, B A C. And the B is for Bacillus, A is Anthracis, and the C is Clostridium. So here are the non spore forming um, gram positive rods. And um, I don't want you to get confused with the C's here, okay? So I put this in alphabetical order. And we're going to take Clostridium first because it's alphabetically first, okay? So uh, you can further categorize the spore-forming bacteria based on whether they're aerobic or not. That's a point of distinction that a lot of the tests like you to be aware of. So the Bacillus anthracis is aerobic and the Clostridium is anaerobic. And to remember that, we're going to think of uh, B for breathing. So the B in bacillus is going to remind us that it's aerobic because we're thinking B for breathing. Okay, here's a couple quick points on spores. You will see some questions occasionally on spores. So a spore is a resistant cell that grows into a new bacteria or microbe via asexual reproduction. It contains calcium dipicolinate and it's heat resistant. So it's, it's thought to be due to this calcium structure that the spore is heat resistant. Uh, you can kill the spore in an autoclave at this very specific number, which you should know. So it's 121 degrees Celsius at 20 minutes and 15 PSI. So to remember this, we're really just going to have to, to look at 121 and we'll let 121 tell us a story. Okay, because we just look at the 21, all you got to do is just take off 1 and you're at 20. So we're looking at 121, the 21 goes to 20, and then we go down to 15, so not too bad. And then Bacillus and Clostridium are the spore producers, and so they are frequently used to check the effectiveness of um, autoclaving. Okay, some characteristics of Bacillus anthracis. It's a spore-forming rod. It is catalase positive. It's uh, recognized by Malachi green spore staining, and it's an obligate aerobe. We already talked about how it's an obligate aerobe and how we're going to use B for breathing. Here's another one that we're going to use to remember some of the bacteria that are obligate aerobes. Nice pets must breathe. So we've got Nocardia, Pseudomona, uh, Mycobacterium, and Bacillus. 